All right, so that's why we needed a screen here. This is actually a downhill slope towards the road, really tough to screen it. So what I did was I put John's screen on the downhill side, and then this is what I tell all my clients, you gotta have more than one layer in case one fails. So in that layer of sorghum, I also have switchgrass coming, but then inside of that, you see I have corn here. And as the switchgrass comes, I'll continue to put John's screen inside of that and just push my corn food screen up in here because they just absolutely piled onto these trails that I brush mowed into the soybeans. Thanks, Jake Ellinger, for, for that tip. Look at this. I mean, it's just insane. And these are real world soybeans. I know I'll get some questions about that. They're still standing tall, still doing great. Deer still hitting them. Um, it is January, oh gosh, it is January 10th right now though. So this tells me I don't really need this much food out here. They've smoked the corn and the beans are the last to go. So that's kind of, you know, this will, obviously there's a lot of deer in here, so they're still loving everything. But um, the big part about this is I wanted to take this five acre square corner and change it from what that was, wide open, nothing, into food in cover. And you can see how comfortable they are in here, that little lane of corn and beans and um, just everything in here is made for movement, edge, you know, kind of funnel stuff right past this blind. This is the old school earth blind. These are not available anymore. I still like it for the reason that it looks like a giant triceratops turd you can see here this is food plot screen is still standing tall still doing great those blinds are about seven and a half feet tall i believe and it's designed for this bow shot right here right in front of it so don't skimp on screens guys fertilize it monthly and treat it as well as you need it because i had no screening and this absolutely made the food plot system function this year during daylight hours they could be out here and just pound this stuff and do it in full security from the road that is right there you can still you can see it just a smidge that gray line right there is the road but nobody can see in here from the outside it just looks like a tan wall so check out that screen i believe they uh john starts to make it available uh end of january maybe february something like that that's usually when you guys should be contacting your seed dealers for uh pallet orders and things like that anyway so um check that out this is jake bull the habitat pro we're in northern minnesota doing our food plot inspection enjoy creation guys god bless